Hey, it's Don Skaggs again with Empowered Inventing, the place where we want to help you help other people by taking your innovation, the right opportunities, and sound wisdom, mixing those together and turning them into real things like products and businesses. Now, today I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, how to use patent pending for more than just the obvious thing, the protection thing. Because as, as protection, um, you know, a, a provisional patent, which is usually the first thing we recommend for you to file, that's, the, that's that foot in the door. Uh, it, it's kind of like a, and it gives you one year of, of uh, priority protection, uh, if you will, for, um, for your idea moving forward until you file the real, uh, the non-provisional patent, which is like the big enchilada. When it, but it gives you that one year to, to, to find out if you have a market. So in the meantime, it's kind of like a scary beware dog sign in the yard. And that's the way I always try to look at it because, uh, you know, maybe you don't have, uh, maybe you could only afford the Chihuahua back in the yard, uh, but you, at least you could put the scary boy or dog sign in the yard because you have filed for your provisional patent. And it can give you more than just the scary boy or dog sign protection, though. And I want to talk to you a little bit about that because it can actually give you uh, a little more credibility. Uh, if you're it just kind of shows that you're serious about doing this. You've taken the time. You've uh, uh, you've done a, a patent search. You found out that there's uh, you know there's nothing else patented. And you know we we do automated patent searches, things like that. Or you can do one with an attorney, or you can do one on your own. Uh, there's lots of different ways to do it. Uh, you know depending on on the route you want to go and your resources. Uh, so it, you you know you've done this, and it just shows that you've done this work. So you've done a search, you've written well, you've written a uh, a good provisional patent yourself, and you filed that thing. And it doesn't matter whether you filed it or an attorney filed it. You can file it yourself as a pro se inventor, and we'll talk about that a little more in just a second. But you can it can give you just such credibility with customers, and that could be end users even. Uh, just the fact that they know it, it's patent pending just kind of gives you a little more air of I'm professional and I'm doing this right. And more than that, even more so, potential licensees. Uh, now sometimes potential licensees don't care uh, as much. They're, you know, they're, they're plowing forward to first to market, but it's always nice to have just that little bit extra safety net in there. Again, that scary beware dog signs just as important to them as it would be to you and your and moving forward in your strategy uh, with uh, uh, with inventing and entrepreneurship. So, potential licensees, it's good for them to have it. They just kind of know it's there. They they will use it like you would use it if you were going directly to market. And with distributors, let's say you are making these and maybe you're selling a B2B product through distributors, uh, which is uh, one of the things I did. And you're, it, it gives those distributors just a little bit, if, you, if it says patent pending on it, it's just that little extra bit of assurance that, oh, okay, well this is patent pending, maybe we won't get knocked off. Once we, you know, if we trust this and buy a, buy a bunch and put it in a warehouse and start selling it, then, then maybe, you know, we won't get knocked off. It just adds a little to that. It adds it with customers, it adds it with distributors, it adds it with licensees. Now, also, it can give you a little bit of an advertising bump. And the reason I say that is, and actually this was the reason I uh, came up with the idea for this, because uh, QVC uses this all the time, whenever they can. If a, if a product is patented, patented, they'll say, this patented technology will do X, Y, Z. Or, the, or if it's patent pending, if it's the, all they've done is file a provisional patent, or if they filed the big one already. Uh, e either way, uh, they, you can put patent pending. That is just the, the beautiful thing about if you file a provisional, uh, you, it can, you, can, you can put that patent pending on it. So you want to use that. So just like QVC does, put it in your ad verbiage, put it in your literature, put it in, put it alongside your pictures, put it on your website, put it everywhere you possibly can. And it's not just a scary boy or dog sign. It's going to give you a little advertising bump. It just kind of makes people set up and look and say, oh, well, that's patent pending. Well, that must be important somehow. And because most people really don't understand the whole patent protection thing. 
but they see that and again you have taken the extra effort to do this it's a smart strategy uh, uh, intellectual property strategy on your part but it is also just lends a little to other people even the ones that don't understand it like you and I do so uh, use it as an advertising bump use it as credibility and if you think it's just too hard I can, there's no way I can do this uh, yeah, if you're filing as a pro se inventor which means you're filing it yourself you can do that right now I believe the current price for that if you qualify and most of us do because you for my, micro entities independent inventors usually are small businesses usually are you have to make under a certain uh, a level of money per year but if you file for a micro entity sometimes it can be as, as low as sixty five dollars to file for a provisional patent now you can go through an attorney and you can spend five thousand dollars you can spend thousands of dollars on a patent search or you can do one of the automated uh, patent searches like the, the like the kind that we have in Empowered Inventing but either way it is a bargain for this smart protection strategy not just for your protection strategy but for all the other things that it is for for the credibility factor for the bump factor it just makes you look like you've got your act together so anyway I hope this is helpful again I'm Don Skaggs this is Empowered Inventing check out our website empoweredinventing.com we're adding new things all the time learn.empoweredinventing.com will take you to our online classes if you want to see those so uh, I hope these videos in the meantime are very helpful for you and uh, be sure and like subscribe if you uh, uh, know someone that th you think this might help please let them know share it with them and I will look to see you at the next meeting, workshop, maybe one of our online classes, or on the next video.